Hi, Martha here, health coach with Take Shape for Life. Today I want to share with you a recipe for my cherry vanilla puffs. I love cherry and the only, the only Metafast meal that I have found um, on the plan is a cherry pomegranate shake. So I was trying to figure out a way to make some kind of a take along cookie or something solid rather than a shake. So I took one of the packets of the cherry pomegranate shake, which is one of the antioxidant shakes, and a French vanilla shake. And so two together mixed in with three tablespoons of water, um, some vanilla, about a half a teaspoon, and about a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And you mix it together. You want to kind of make a really as thick, a, almost like a dough as you can because you're going to make it fairly firm so they'll stay puffed when they cook and the baking powder will actually help it rise a little. This is pretty much what the dough should look like. It's pretty thick in there. I just mixed it together to go ahead and scoop it onto the cookie sheet. So once you've done that, um, I also add maybe two or three halves of crushed up pecans. I just take some halves and squish them in my fingers and pour them in. I like to have crunch with my foods when I can, especially with cookies. Um, that's just personal preference. So you'll have to add about a half of an optional snack if you do put nuts in these. And they're really good with the nuts. If you don't like pecans, walnuts would be good. Um, even almonds. You could just use, you know, a few, a few pieces that you've broken up and crushed so that every cookie gets some. So basically you're going to, I am very, very specific and anal with my cooking. I want every piece to be the same. So I use a cookie scoop. And I'm going to put these on a small cookie sheet. It will make six, and that is designed for two meals, so you'll have three for each meal. And I made a couple batches ahead of time. Everything I make generally, because it requires anything that requires cooking, I usually bake two or three batches at a time so that I'm not constantly cooking something. But I do like to have you know, grab and grow, grab and go food only because I am out and about, I'm traveling a lot. And sometimes, you know, trying to make shakes in hotels and such is not so easy. So dragging the cookies along and they're good for a couple of days. Um, I can do that. So I've got some on my cookie sheet. I'm going to put them in the oven here, but I wanted to show you what one looks like completed. And they're just, you know, little puffed cookies. And they're pretty dense, but you know, you can see the little nuts that I put into them. They're excellent. If you like cherry and you like vanilla together, it's, it's a great, it's a, it's a yummy, but not super sweet kind of a puffed cookie. So that's what I'm sharing today. <clears throat> Just to summarize, it's one package of the cherry pomegranate shake, one of the French vanilla shake, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of the baking powder, put all of that in, in a, a bowl, mix it up with about three tablespoons of cold water till you get a fairly thick consistency dough. And then drop about a tablespoon drops of your cookies down, or cookie dough down onto a, I use parchment paper just because nothing sticks. You can peel the paper off and the cookie comes right off. Um, so you'll, you, there's six, so you'll eat three for each meal. Hope you try it. Hope you like it. Would like to hear your comments. If you have any, please let me know. Be kind. I'll see you next time. If you want to contact me, all my info's down below. Talk to you soon.